Welcome to Motorsports, the channel for cars as you are. My name is Jake and I am here in Atlanta, Georgia with my two friends, Jake and Chris from Gears and Queers. We've been filming an entire towing series on Towing 101 and we've got a couple different vehicles here from Chevrolet. I'm gonna talk about this 2022 Chevy Silverado 1500 with the three liter Duramax diesel. So we've given them the, the towing overview, but now I'm gonna sit with this truck and see how it is as something to tow with from someone whose perspective is not, eh, I'm towing for the first time, a little more experience, see how this thing actually pulls. So let's talk briefly about what this 2022 Silverado is, talk about all of the numbers that matter, and then we'll get it on the road and see how it pulls this lovely W164 Mercedes-Benz email. 163. It's a 163? Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll get it out on the road and see how it pulls this lovely and talented W163 Mercedes-Benz email. All right, so starting off, what is this truck? This is, like I said, a 2022 Chevy Silverado 1500. This is the full-on crew cab with the bigger back seat of the different options they give you. And this, like I said, has the Duramax diesel. There are three different engines offered in this truck. There is a 5.3 liter V8, a 6.2 liter V8, both gas powered, and then a three liter inline Duramax diesel six cylinder. That makes 277 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque sending it all through a 10-speed torque converter automatic, and in this case, to all four wheels via a four-wheel drive system. It is selectable four-wheel drive with two-wheel drive normally, high range, low range, if you want to engage those. As far as other numbers that matter here, this truck is an LTZ, so it's pretty nicely equipped. It's certainly not a base truck by any means. Uh, and this one is equipped to tow 9,500 pounds. This has the Z71 package on it, so you've got these all-terrain tires, and, you know, couple other changes but either way this one's rated to pull 9,500 pounds you've got that standard 10 to 12 percent tongue weight allowed on the hitch of this truck and then let's take a look at the door jam sticker because of course we want to know payload and payload does impact your ability to carry people and things as well as have a trailer on the back so the available payload of this truck is 1,471 pounds as always be sure to consider the actual payload of the truck you're looking at buying because they differ based on the options and trim level and everything else that you choose for your vehicle. Now, like I said, I'm pulling my friend Chris's Mercedes-Benz ML320, and the total weight between the ML and the open trailer that we've got here is right around 6,500, 6,600 pounds. The ML comes in at, I think we said, 4,300 pounds, and then the trailer is another 2,000 or so. It's about a 20-foot open steel trailer. Now this truck does have a trailer brake controller. The trailer itself has electronic brakes on both axles, so we're covered there. Let's get behind the wheel and see how it is to tow with. All right, so let's talk about towing with this Silverado 1500 diesel. Uh, power is of course no problem. You're driving the torque really. Um, it's going to feel a little bit slower uh, if you're trying to you know pull out and pass someone or something, but uh, you're using all the torque here. The torque builds from basically right off idle at 1200 RPM or so, and it feels really punchy for what it is, even though we've got 6,500, 6,800 pounds behind us. So that is a really nice thing. And then the other nice thing here is the transmission. It is that 10 speed, it's the same 10 speed that gets used with pretty much every other GM truck at this point. It's nice because it's got a lot of ratios. Uh, the, top, the top handful are overdrives. So on the highway in particular, uh, it can be very helpful with you know, picking the exact right gear for, for what you're looking to do. So that and the torque, I think both do a nice job masking the fact that this is a lower powered engine with, you know, 270 some horsepower. Um, obviously, if you're pulling out to pass, the horsepower would be a little more helpful there, but you know, you've got the gearing, you've got the torque, you've got the boost, it'll be helpful. I think it will pull pretty well, even if you put an enclosed trailer on it. Some people say there's no replacement for displacement and they want that 6.2 V8 instead. Um, I think that is another potentially good option, but personally, I really like having boost because away from a stop or anywhere where you need a little bit of low end extra help, uh, it'll just feel that much better. Now Chevy does have some nice trailer technology built into this truck. Um, if you put your signal on, it, uh, it does show in the infotainment screen, it shows your side view camera and it gives you a nice wide angle all the way down the truck and uh, mostly down the trailer too. So that's pretty nice. Um, they've got a bunch of different camera views, including an optional view that lets you uh, have a camera on the back of your trailer. 
and uh, see what the trailer sees if that's you know pointing directly behind you or whatever. Um, we don't have that set up, of course. I don't think I necessarily need it, but um, it's something that if you have an enclosed trailer or a camper or something where you don't necessarily have the uh, have the easy visibility here, um, it's definitely worth having. Kind of a nice, clever touch. Now, accelerating to higher speed, got my foot in it. It only needs 3,500 RPM or so. Feels pretty good. And suspension-wise, you know, we've got this loaded up. This truck has more than enough capability with the Mercedes on it. And, you know, it feels very steady, very easy to uh, to tow with and, you know, not at all uh, problematic or, or confidence uh, killing, if you will. And then as far as handling, stopping, that sort of thing, the brakes feel pretty good. The pedal is nice and progressive as you lay into it. Obviously, we've got the trailer brakes set up, but, you know, a hard stop and uh, it feels pretty nice here either way. Um, steering, of course, is truck steering. It feels absolutely fine. No one's gonna say it's got wonderful sporty feel or anything. Um, I did voice a concern in one of our Towing 101 videos about how this truck might do versus a truck with highway tires for uh, the sake of towing something towards its max capacity because this has all terrains with being that Z71 package. So you've got bigger gaps between the tread blocks and that, in theory, can allow a little bit more squirm with everything. So maybe not the best tire if you're going to be towing right up at that, that limit, but uh, it feels fine with the weight that we have here, even when we get up to highway speeds, it feels okay. But if you're looking for the ultimate towing vehicle, the ultimate towing Silverado, um, I would probably pick one that came with highway tires instead. And as far as other elements of this for towing, if you're towing longer distances, um, this is kind of the outgoing model. Chevy calls this one the LTD because this is kind of a, a holdover model apparently until the upcoming generation of Silverado debuts. And they're gonna do a updated interior in particular in here. Um, I don't necessarily love these seats. I think they are uh, a little firm, a little uncomfortable for me. And I just personally, um, I don't know if I love them that much. As far as other things in here though, like I said, the technology with towing is pretty good. All the camera views are nice. I do wish in reverse uh, that it was a little bit higher resolution as you're trying to line up your, your hitch with your, um, with your truck and with the, the trailer tongue. It works well enough. The side view cameras in particular are uh, very nicely done. And of course, anyone towing somewhere far away needs a good sound system. And this truck does have a Bose system that I think sounds pretty good. So, um, you know, it's not going to be one of the most mind-blowing systems in the world, but I think it does do a pretty good job, so you'll be happy enough with that. Again, hard on the brakes here. Everything feels pretty good. It's all very controllable. And, you know, that's what you should have with a modern half-ton truck. You know, all of these should do a nice job and feel... You know, I, I really hate the turbo. You can't feel the trailer back there because if you're paying any attention to what you're doing, you should feel the trailer back there. But, you know, it should feel composed and effortless and, you know, like you're working with the truck instead of trying to hustle it along and hope that it, you know, responds to whatever you're doing. And I think this makes for a very good towing partner. We do need to talk about the cost of adding the Duramax diesel and all of the maintenance cost and the potential cost of diesel fuel. I think for a lot of buyers that may be you know, the diesel is not the best option for a lot of folks. I think if you're towing a lot, I would like the diesel because all of that torque from basically off idle, I think that's really, really nice. The 6.2 V8 that they offer is another good option, but you know, it's a lot more horsepower. It's 420 horsepower versus this 277, but it's gonna have to work a little bit harder to make all that power and to use all that torque that it produces. So, uh, I think the diesel is good to have in limited cases. It feels very confident, inspiring, very competent with the trailer hooked up. Um, I think if you're looking for a truck to just tool around in and occasionally pull something that's not towards the top, you know, top 30% of what this truck can pull, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'd spend the money on the diesel or not. You just have to consider potential cost of fuel, um, your, your extra potential maintenance, um, just as the truck ages if you're going to keep it a long time. Uh, plus the cost of you know buying in and the extra cost of the diesel engine versus one of the gas motors. 
but and that is it for this review of the 2022 Chevy Silverado with the Duramax. Thank you so much for coming along. As always, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff right here on YouTube. Give us a follow on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Out Motorsports. And if you would like to uh, follow along elsewhere and join a community of like-minded LGBT automotive enthusiasts and motorsports competitors, head over to outmotorsports.com. We would love to meet you over there. Thank you so much for watching. See you for the next one.